Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. If you can hear me, if you can see me, put your city in the comments. Put your city in the comments. Hey, Mrs. Irvin, how are you? If you can hear me, you can see me. Put your city in the comments and shout a people, couple people out. Pittsburgh is in the building. Shout out to you. Is my sound too loud? Let me know if my sound is too loud. South Africa is in the building. Shout out to you. Another comments are going really fast. Virginia is in the building. Shout out to you. Baltimore, Maryland is in the building. Detroit is in the building. Thank you. I appreciate you. Mississippi is in the building. Okay, Joel said it's fine. Okay, South Africa. All right, y'all, today's day one of our Armor Up Challenge. Today is day one. And if you are on the East Coast of America, your fast has already started. Your fast has already started. The majority of us are fasting from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, other parts of the world, you're probably like halfway through the fast. So that's awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. Georgia is in the building. Shout out to you. So let's just get into it because I don't want to hold you too long and I have an appointment that I have to get to. So today starts our 21 day armor up challenge. Hold on one second, y'all. For some reason, it, well, I guess being here, it sounds like I'm competing with the sound. So today is day one. Our theme for today, somebody scribe this for me. Introduction to the armor of God. That's our theme for today. Introduction to the armor of God. Or you can just put the armor of God. That's our theme for today. Our scripture for today is Ephesians 6, 10 through 18, which is the armor of God scripture. That's the scripture that we're going to feast and meditate on today. Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. Somebody scribe that for me. Somebody scribe that for me. Thank you for sharing. Today is day one, introduction to the armor of God, right? And then Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. That's the scripture that we are going to be feasting on today. The task for today is to write a personal commitment to this 21 day challenge. So as you're sitting with God in your selected area, spending time in his presence, you're going to sit and write down what your commitment is to this 21 day journey. For some people, your commitment is being consistent. Maybe you're not always consistent with your relationship with God or spending time with God. So you would say, OK, for the next 21 days, I promise to be committed, wake up at a certain amount, certain time and I'm going to pray. I'm going to read. I'm going to worship, whatever it is. I want you to do that. And then the reflection which is another um, thing after you read the armor of God, I want you to think about what each piece of the armor represents in your life. What, what does each piece of the armor represent in your own life? Now, there's no right or wrong answers for this stuff. This is between you and God. This just gives you something to journal, something to bring before God as you're in his presence. So that is what today is all about, our introduction to the armor of God. So we're feasting and reading on that. Right. We're going to do the task and the reflection. And if you signed up for the challenge, you automatically got the free download and it gave you each day because somebody was like, can you send me the prayer? And I'm like, there's no prayer. The prayer that you're going to do your 10 minutes that you're spending in prayer, that's going to be between you and God as to what you say between you and God as to what you say. Two prayer points, though, that I want you to take this entire week. Wisdom. And discerning of spirits. I want you to pray for wisdom and discerning of spirits along with everything else that you're praying for. I want you to pray for wisdom and discerning of spirits. Thank you. Is it Mark? Margavet? Thank you for um, scribing for me. Discerning of spirits. I want you to ask God to give you a stronger discerning of spirits. So in these last days, you will be able to tell a human from an AI robot. Because in a minute, you're not going to be able to tell the difference, though is those AI things can never be spirit filled, can never have a soul. So they may say all of this stuff and move how they move and look like us, but it will never have a soul 
and it'll never have a spirit. So you want to be able to have that discerning of spirits and wisdom. So you also know how to navigate through the rest of this year and through 2024. So those are two prayer points I want you to add. Two prayer points. Anything else you pray about is between you and God. You and God. Our fast, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. today. If that doesn't fit your lifestyle, you're on medication, you definitely consult with your doctor. You tailor it to fit you. If you're pregnant, I don't recommend fasting. You need a grace to fast while you're pregnant. I don't recommend that. So what you do, if you're pregnant, you're just going to, instead of eating cheeseburgers and donuts, you just eat a little bit more healthier, right? You just take care of yourself, right? You just make sure you pray throughout the day as 6 a.m., 6 p.m., Although the minimum time to pray today is 10 minutes, you can do a couple times throughout the day, right? You can read this scripture a couple times throughout the day. When you find yourself getting hungry, steal away and read the word. Steal away and read the word. Increase your water intake as well. Your body may feel some type of way today because it's used to all those gases and toxins being in your body. So you may feel some type of way you may feel like you got a headache. You may feel like nauseous and stuff. Just drink water. Drink water and pray. It's just your body reacting because it's used to gases. It's used to toxins. It's used to just keep going. But we have to realize we control the body, right? We control the flesh. We have the power to do that. We have the power to do that. Thank you guys for the gifts. Thank you guys for the gifts. Is there anything else I want to mention? Um, I think that's it for today. I think that's it. Remember, every day this week, at least 10 minutes a day. Somebody asked me in that 10 minutes, is it worship? You can worship, but 10 minutes of prayer is not the same as worship. So I still want you to get at least 10 minutes in today. So if you can't do 10 minutes at one time, break it up. Maybe you'll do two minutes now, and then you'll do two minutes in the afternoon. You'll do that until 10 minutes is completed. But I want you to, um, to challenge yourself to at least do 10 minutes. You can do it. You can spend 10 minutes scrolling. You can spend 10 minutes talking to your heavenly father. And then you break that up, right? You don't always have to talk when you pray. You can listen. Holy Spirit, what are you saying to me? What should I be doing? What should, what, how should today go about? What should I be bringing to the table today? Where should I be going? Where should I be planting? Listening is a big part of it. Thank you so much for that. Listening is a big part of prayer. Listening is a big part of prayer. Um, I think somebody else asked me, um, tomorrow y'all, I'm not going to be live tomorrow. I'm going to be live again, Wednesday. I'm going to be live Mondays and Wednesdays during the uh, consecration. I can't do live every day because my life just doesn't permit me to, but tomorrow when we're praying that 10 minutes and I'll do a video reminding us, I want you to, to not pray in your heavenly language. I don't, I want you to pray in English tomorrow specifically. I want you to just pray in English. Cause I know sometimes we will, those of us that are, uh, have diverse tongues and those of us that pray in the spirit and things like that, we'll just do that. But I want you to be able to communicate your words tomorrow specifically. So tomorrow during your 10 minutes, I want you to give, put that in English. So you're decreeing and declaring your words out in the heavenlies. I want you to do that. Yeah, Mondays and Wednesdays, I'll be live 9 o'clock. I came on a little bit earlier today because I forgot I have an appointment I need to get to in a little bit. Um, so I need to do that. And then, um, yeah, we're only fat. If you want to fast more, it's totally up to you. But Mondays and Wednesdays are two days, and it's always going to be 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. We're taking this challenge by increments of seven. So this first week, every day is 10 minutes of prayer, at least. If you can go longer, go longer. But starting out with the 10 minutes every day. Next week, it's going to increase to, I believe, 20 minutes. So you want to build up stamina this week so that when next week comes, you're not like, man, I don't even know. If you have to break it up, that's fine. You do five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the afternoon, five minutes on your lunch break or whatever. And also, when since we are consecrating, you don't have to go around and tell everybody at your job that you want a consecration. The only reason why we're talking about it now it's because this is a corporate thing, right? So I'm making sure that everybody has the details. But we don't have to go around telling everybody that. And also be mindful of temptations and distractions. Whenever you fast, everybody's going to bring lunch today. Everybody's going to be offering, girl, did you try that steak at such and such steakhouse? Everybody's going to be talking about food. You're going to start to smell food. You're going to start to crave things you don't ever eat. So just be mindful of that. Also be mindful of temptations. 
Be mindful of distractions. Be mindful of distractions. If you said today, I'm going to spend less time on social media, then do it. Log off. Because somebody, I think, said to me the other day that they have like an addiction to social media where they'd rather scroll than pray. And I said, we have a problem there. Because you are somebody that the enemy will come and tear up. Tear up. So you need to make a decision. It's dis, it's, it requires discipline. And we do that by doing these challenges over and over. Why do you think we did 21 days? What you do for 21 days, they used to say builds a habit. Now I think it's 30 days. But what you do for 21 days builds a habit. So you got the habit of praying at least 10 minutes a day, right? You got the habit of fasting at least two times a week. You're building up stamina to prepare you for what's to come. So you will walk into 2024, a stronger son, a stronger daughter of God, right? You'll be, your ears will be attentive to heaven. That's another thing when you're fasting, you want to make sure you have those quiet times, you have those quiet moments so that your ear is to heaven. So you can hear what heaven is releasing and hear what heaven is saying to you specifically. So be mindful of that scripture again, Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. If you have the workbook, um, make sure you did the work the word that's in the beginning where basically you write a prayer that includes scripture. Some of y'all, I know y'all did that the other day, but if you haven't did that, you can do that. If you have the workbook, you also have extra scriptures that you can meditate and look on as well. Um, but I want you guys all in general is to start praying the scriptures, to start praying the scriptures. The simple way of praying the scriptures is just basically taking a hold of the scriptures and giving it back to God. God, you said, and if you look at my, if you go to my page, I have a pinned video and I wrote out a, a, a prayer that includes the scriptures. So you can use that as a, um, as like a template and make it your own. So you think about a problematic area in your life that needs a delay. I mean, that has delay, has hardship, needs a breakthrough. And I want you to go find scriptures specific to that area. And then you turn it into a prayer. Heavenly Father, in your word, in Isaiah 33, and I'm just throwing, making up stuff. Your word says, Heavenly Father, in Ephesians 6, your word says, da 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 Your word can never return void. I'm trusting you, God, to make good of your word. You cannot lie. You cannot fail. Your word can never return void. And that's something... I wake up every morning and I say, God, you cannot lie. You cannot fail. Your word can never return void. And sometimes I say it over and over and over and over until my spirit begins to marry those words. You cannot lie. You cannot fail. Your word can never return void. You cannot lie. You cannot fail. Your word can never return void. So you find your own thing with God and you just keep saying it over and over and over. It's meditating on the word. It's meditating and saying it over and over and over and over. So make sure you read Ephesians 6, 10 through 18 today. If you can read it twice, if you can read it twice today, read it twice today and then write what you see, right? If you don't know a word, go look it up. But when you look it up, type in Google Bible dictionary or download the blue letter Bible app. Because when you click the words in there, it shows you the definitions in the Hebrew and the Greek. You don't want a traditional dictionary to uh, give you biblical interpretation. You need a biblical uh, Bible uh, dictionary. So you can look that up on Google or download one of the apps where it lets you tap the words and you can see it. So do that today. Try to read it at least twice. At least twice. Make sure you get your 10 minutes in. If you can go longer, go. Don't cut it off. If let's say you put a timer on and you're gonna go from 9:10 to 9:20. If that timer goes off and you still feel yourself in the spirit praying, keep going. Keep going. Turn the timer off and keep going. Let it flow like a river. Because that's one of my prayers for you too. As you're praying, it will begin to come out of your mouth like a river. It will begin to flow like a river and you will hear God like you've never heard God before in these next 21 days. That is my prayer. Yeah. Blue letter Bible app is what I said. Blue letter Bible app. Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. If you got the download, it has all the scriptures for every day of the challenge. To get the download, you just go to my profile. Thank you so much for that. Go to my profile and click the link in my bio. It says stand.store and then it says 21 day challenge and you just get the free download there is a workbook that's optional you don't have to get it but it's a little bit more it comes a little bit more with more resources a little bit laid out for those that like to stay a little bit structured so you can do that you can get that as well 
All right. Any other questions about this particular day? Any other questions about the challenge um, before I have to leave and go to this appointment? I will be putting this video on YouTube as soon as it downloads. Thank you so much for the gifts. I definitely appreciate them. Definitely appreciate them. We praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are so on target this morning. Blessings, woman of God. Hey, is that Kathy Ann? Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Sometimes this text looks so small to me. Thank you for joining. All right. There's nothing else. Yeah, so from 6, to, to 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., water. Water is fine. Water is fine. People have been asking me about coffee, juice, and um, tea. I'm saying I'm not doing that, but if you feel like you def desperately need to have tea and coffee, then you got to do what you got to do. But the, the fast that the Lord gave to me was water. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. If you can't handle that, you got to tweak it to make sense to your lifestyle. You got to. And I'm telling you, your body may feel hungry, but you're not dying. I'm telling you, you can live. I don't know. You can live like 40 days without food or something like that. I don't know. You, you can live a while without food. Water is good. Water is good. And then fasting gives your body a reset. Fasting gives your body a reset. Right. You, you think about it. If you've been eating toxins. For weeks and weeks and weeks. We just had Thanksgiving. You've been eating a lot of foods that you know ain't good for you. Your body needs to just have a moment to just break. And we got to thank God that he don't have us on 21 days of 6 a.m., 6 p.m. Around the holiday times. I know a lot of y'all wouldn't even do it. So we thank God. Two days a week, that's okay. And, it, and going forward, after this fast or this consecration is over, this 21 days is over, you should incorporate fasting in your lifestyle at least once a week. At least once a week. So that way you can be tapped into what heaven is saying. It's all about the sacrifice. God's going to reward y'all. I'm telling you. The fact that you made a decision to say it's the end of the year. Christmas is getting ready to come. But God, I got to I gotta tap into this. I got to hear you like I never heard you before. I need wisdom, God. I need discerning of spirits. The fact that you made a decision to do that when everybody else is like, man, no, I'm, I got shopping to do. I got da 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 God is going to reward you for that. So don't ever think you're doing something in vain. It's not in vain. It's not in vain. Is it okay to fast if God hasn't told you to? I try to follow the leader of the Holy Spirit. I try to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit so that way there's a grace there. That way there's a grace there. But I'm sure there's people that fast um, without God telling them to fast. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, today's the day we started. We started today. Well, we kind of started. Today's day one. Yesterday was the day of repentance. So if you didn't do the repentance, go back to that video and, and do that. Well, I never like to go into these challenges without repenting. You know, it's a turning away of God. You know, God, I may not have been trusting you like I should. God, I ain't never put on no armor of God. God, I, you know, I've been out here doing other stuff. It's just we're just approaching God with clean hands and a pure heart. That's the key to going to the next level. That's the key to ascension. Clean hands and a pure heart. Clean hands and a pure heart. I tussle with this that affirmed that I really need to do this. Yeah, y'all. Just because I come on here and be like, the Lord has told me to do a challenge. It doesn't mean that it's for everybody. It doesn't mean that. It, you got to make sure you ask Holy Spirit, is this somebody that I should be following? Is this something for me? Because sometimes you need a grace to do specific things. You need a grace to do specific things. Whatever that was pinned, I missed it. I missed it. Yeah, you can change your fasting time. Send if you work overnight or if you um, you uh, a truck driver or something like that, you don't have the ideal schedule. You can tweak it to your lifestyle. You just want to make sure during those times you're not sleep. You're somewhere praying at least some of those throughout that time period. Because fasting without prayer, fasting without prayer is just a diet. We're not doing that. Are all the documents required to participate? What documents? I'm not sure I understand what that means. It's just a download to tell you what we're doing each day. Just in case I'm not up here to go live, you just have it on your own. So I'm not sure if that's what you're saying. Thank you for coming on my FYP. I needed this too much. But well, thank you, TikTok, for pushing it out there. What are the gifts? I'm not sure what that means either. Um, you don't have to get the download, but how would you know what to do if you don't get the download? The download is free. The download is free. If, how would you know what to do unless you come on my page every day and watch the videos? So it, it, it helps you out if you get the download. If you don't want the download, then I don't know how you would do the challenge unless you just go and go on the page every day. Spiritual gifts in the Bible. 
Um, I can give you some scriptures for that, um, but we're not really getting into that. We're talking about the armor of God. You go to my profile. You go to my profile. Hold on. Let me grab my. can get that person that's looking for that scriptures for spiritual gifts. Um, the nine spiritual gifts. Okay, 1 Corinthians 12. Go read that and that talks about spiritual gifts. 1 Corinthians 12. It's whoever asked that. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's just sometimes if we get off, we're going to miss what what I wanted to get across today. Oh, that's okay. If you can't join, that's okay. There's no, it's no, um, no harm. We're going to do another challenge in January, hopefully. So you can just come back on then. It takes discipline. These challenges takes discipline. And it's not a commitment to me. It's a commitment to God. It's a commitment to God. So you just want to make sure you're not out here saying, God, I'm committing some to you. And then you don't. Yeah, to get the, to sign up, you just go to, um, click my profile. And click that link in bio. It says stand dot store. And um, you can download it. Yeah, first Corinthians 12. All right, any other questions in regards to the challenge? I still see people signing up, which is good. God keeps showing me 808. All right. Anybody else with anything in regards to this challenge? I'm going to put this on YouTube as soon as it downloads. I'm going to put this on YouTube. My YouTube is I Need a Word. It's the one with the 7,000 followers. Or if you click my profile, click that Instagram icon, it'll show you the YouTube as well. Let me know about those massages, please. Huh? Good morning. Yeah, it's a link in my bio. It says Stand Dot Store. Once you click it, You'll see it says 21 day armor up challenge download. It's the free download. The journal is separate. The workbook, you don't have to get it if you don't want to. It's totally optional. It's just because a lot of people that are connected to me that follow me, they like to have structure. They like to be organized. So we create, I create these things like this for them. But you just, all you need is a simple download. Um, and it comes with, I think it comes with a prayer too when you get this simple download. It comes with these in a prayer. I just printed out the first sheet. I didn't print it out all, but I think it's like six pages or something like that. The difference is you're just going to, if you just get the challenge, it's just going to list out the theme and the, the scripture and then the task. If you get the workbook, it comes with a place more laid out for somebody that's into taking notes. It comes with, um, and I think I have a video on this. It comes with... Um, scriptures for spiritual warfare it comes with the repentance prayer it comes with promises from psalm 91 it comes with the spiritual weapon so it's just a little bit more in depth just a little bit more in depth but it's not it's not required unless you're one of those people that are into that it's not required you can still get the download and still be successful in the challenge it's totally up to you have you sent the instructions to our gmails yet the instructions were sent out as soon as you download them if you have gmail though Sometimes they go to the promotions folder or the spam folder if you put the right email in. Because I had some people over the weekend, they were contacting me and they put .com instead of .com. So if you type something wrong, there's a chance you don't get it. But when you, when you sign up for the challenge, it's an instant download. It goes directly to your email. If you have Gmail, there's a big chance, 99% chance, it went into your promotions folder or your spam folder. So definitely check that. But yeah, I noticed that with Gmail. Gmail's like the only ones that's been doing that. YouTube is I Need a Word. It's the one with the 7,000 followers because there's multiple I Need a Word channels on there. But you'll see my face. You'll see my face. Hey, Diana. I was just thinking about you this morning. I was just thinking about you this morning. Thank you to the mods too, y'all. Because I ain't really been looking at these comments. We need to pray going into... Going in the new year, you was going over the areas we need to pray about. Yeah, I think I did a video on on there, on my page somewhere. I don't know, sometimes I do so many, I'm spirit-led, so sometimes I just do things and I don't even remember that I did them until I go back and look at them. So if you go on my page, I'm sure that video is there. But I don't, I didn't, he didn't, I don't think the Lord gave me specific prayers to give to you. He gave me targets. He gave me targets. 
He gave me targets so that you learn how to, you don't want to be so reliant on somebody else's prayer. You want to be able to pray yourself. So the targets are there. I think it was five things. I don't have them with me. Thank you for joining. Is it dark child? Thank you for joining. The YouTube is, I just joined. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for joining y'all. I'm going to be consistent. I'm going to try to post all the lives that we do on TikTok and all the daily videos I'm going to post on YouTube because I know sometimes TikTok be acting funny. So we'll have YouTube as a backup. We'll have YouTube as a backup. All right, y'all. I'm going to have to get ready to go because I have an appointment to go to. But today's day one. Remember, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. That's our fast. Tweak it to your lifestyle. For you. If that doesn't work for you, we can drink water during these times. We can drink water. Also, if you wake up before 6 a.m. and you want a little snack, why not? Because it's before the 6 a.m., 6 p.m. time slot. So you'll be good with that. Remember, 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes a day. Every day this week, at least 10 minutes. Today, 10 minutes. Two prayer points to add. Wisdom. God, give me wisdom. Specific to yourself. Wisdom and discerning of spirits. God, give me discerning of spirits. I want you to have add those two prayer targets for the rest of the week. Unless the Lord gives me some more to give you. But at least those two. And then whatever else you're going to be praying. Um... I think that's it. 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. At least 10 minutes. At least. At least. If you can go longer, go longer. Tomorrow, when you pray, I want you to pray in English. I want you to pray in English for that 10 minutes. Now, if you do off of 10 minutes, more than that, you can pray whatever, however you want. But tomorrow, at least during that 10 minutes, I want you to pray in English. I want you to speak in English. So if you have to divide it up and for five minutes, you're making your petitions on and then for five minutes, you're just listening and being quiet and being still, then that's fine too. Remember, you find every day throughout this challenge, you're finding a place in your house where you and God are going to meet every day at the same time as possible. If that doesn't fit your lifestyle, tweak it. Some of you, you're going to have to meet God in the car on the way to work, whatever it is. But I just, I chose that or the Lord led me to do that again because we did that, I think, in the Intimacy with God Challenge. But it teaches consistency to get up and to start our day with the Father. And that's what we want to do. We want to start our day with the Lord. Before we leave our house, we should be always having some type of communication with our Father. Because we should be asking for divine protection. Thank you, God, for protecting me from danger seen and unseen. We should be saying things like that before we leave the house. Before we pull that car off, we should automatically be giving thanks and then asking God for his divine protection. Like, that should be something. That should be a habit. That should be a habit. What's the difference between speaking your prayer versus thinking your prayer? I think word, your words have power. The Bible says life and death is in the power of your tongue. So I think when you speak it, when the Lord created the earth, he said, let there be light. And then it was. So I think the, I think thinking is okay, but I think speaking has a little bit more, carries a little bit more weight. I could think the scriptures all day, but when I decree and declare out of my mouth, it's a different impact. It's a different impact. It's a different impact. And I know in certain situations, you may be at your job and you can't be like, da, 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 da. So you might have to just, you know, have it in your mind. But you can still, I, when I was working a nine to five in, in healthcare, I am not, we would do like fasting days. I would have to steal away and go to the bathroom and pray. Steal away, go to the bathroom and have my little, that's when I have one of those little pocket Bibles and read the scriptures and read the scriptures and read the scriptures. So you're just going to have to make it, um, you're going to have to to sacrifice. It requires sacrifice. We cannot no law, we cannot afford to be lazy with our relationship with God. I tell y'all the enemy does not take sick days. The enemy does not take sick days. They fast. They pray, they tithe to their God. They tithe and pray to the devil. Like it's real. It's real. You see all of these stories going viral on here about these ex occult people or these ex people who used to be into witchcraft and some of the things that they reveal some of the things that they do to christians gotta be mindful y'all and also if you want to take communion go right ahead and take communion totally up to you this is part of my lifestyle take communion every day so if you want to add that to this challenge go right ahead if you don't have communion things you could go um get some crackers and some juice or something some crackers and some juice, or you can order these off of Amazon. It's called Miracle Meal. You can order those off of Amazon. They give you like a big box. No, depending on how many you get. Um, let's try to see. The box comes like this, and it's like literally hundreds in here. So you can do that too. It's totally up to you and how the Lord is leading you. How the Lord is leading you.
All right, we're going to wrap this up. I love y'all with the love of the Lord. You can watch this again on YouTube if you missed anything. You can go to, um, the YouTube also has a video explaining the challenge in depth. The YouTube also has a video um, showing you the inside of the workbook so you see what the difference is when you get the workbook and how to utilize the workbook. So you don't want to get the workbook, invest in the workbook, and then you don't utilize it. Um, so you can do that. Is the fast from food. Yeah, we're, we're abstaining from food from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. That's a biblical fast. A biblical fast is when you abstain from food. Now, I know there's other terms of fasting and things like that, but we're doing a biblical fast for, for this challenge. A biblical fast. 6 p.m. Yeah, somebody asked that before. Yeah, you can do that. If that works for your lifestyle, that's fine. You just want to make sure during those times you can read. During that time you are praying so you're not just off you know, off of work during those times and you're just sleeping, you want to make sure you are kind of attentive in some sense and you're spending some time with the Lord. The YouTube is I need a word. The YouTube is I need a word. The YouTube is I need a word. You have to click the link in my bio, Britt, to get the price. But they told me that TikTok does not like you to talk about money and price. They'll flag your account. So just to be um, just to be clear on that, I just click the link in my bio to show you the price. This shirt. Um, was this New York and Company some years ago? Might have been New York and Company some years ago, this button up. We're fasting Mondays and Wednesdays. Mondays and Wednesdays. Mondays and Wednesdays. Mondays and Wednesdays, we're fasting. If you feel led to do more, then go by all means. By all means, go right ahead. Go right ahead. And again, there's videos on my page explaining the challenge if you missed something, if I didn't see your question or something like that, or if the mods missed it. There's videos on my page explaining the challenge and... Um, the download literally gives, I think the download gives you the instructions. Yeah, the download gives you the instructions. The download gives you the scriptures. So even if I never was to go live or never was to come on, you still have the download that gives you that information, even though I will be. Hey, Cap, even though I will be. Yeah, so if you got to tweak something to match your lifestyle, do it. Only thing I don't want you to tweak is that 10 minutes this week. The 10 minutes in prayer, I want you to treat that as a priority. I want that to be a priority. I want that to be a priority. I want that to be the priority. I want that to be a priority. I want that to be. If you get the download, it, it tells you what scriptures we just went over. If you get the download, it tells you. Or if you look on my page, I did a video telling what the theme was and what the scripture was and what the task was for today. I'll put this on YouTube. I got to go, y'all, so I can go to this appointment. I love y'all with the love of the Lord. Thank you so much for joining. I will be back on live Wednesday, but I will probably be posting videos if not today, definitely for tomorrow, for day two. So just stay strong, y'all. If you get hungry, drink more water and read the word. Start to read the scriptures. It will take your hunger away. It will take your hunger away. Pray at least 10 minutes today, at least. If you got to break it up because that's too long for you, break it up. If you catch a flow while you're praying, keep going. Keep going. Let that let it flow like a river. Don't cut it off. If you if, Don't be staring at the time. Just go and pray like this year's this is your conversation with your father you got to see him as abba that's why we did that intimacy with god challenge the last time because it taught us to see him as not this far off deity but we see him as father and when you have a father you you talk to your father right you have a, a language a a, a a relationship with your father that you can tell him anything and he's still going to be your father He's still going to love you, right? Still going to look out for you. Still going to protect you. He, want, he wants, God wants us to thrive. Abba wants us to thrive. He wants us to be, walk this journey out successfully. Every day is not going to be easy, but it's easier when we're in the will of God. It's easier when we're in the will of God. So I'll be back on Wednesday, probably around the 9 a.m. hour. Um, tomorrow, still doing 10 minutes a day. And I'll remind you on the video. I usually post the videos around... I think 4 or 5 a.m. on TikTok, and then I'll put them on YouTube as well. Um, tomorrow, pray in English. No tongues. For the 10 minutes, pray in English so your words can be heard. So, you're, so you can understand your words as well, right? So you can understand your words as well. All right, y'all. I love y'all with the love of the Lord. I will see you tomorrow. Again, you can watch this replay on YouTube or go to my profile. It'll tell you the theme. It'll tell you the scripture and what the task is if you missed any of these videos. I love y'all with the love of the Lord. We'll see each other on Wednesday.